Hello everybody, today we are continuing with the Dushtana Houses Masterclass and today I'm talking about the 12th house. 12th house is Vyaya Bhava, the house of loss and expenses and how to deal with it? You know, these Dushtana Houses are complex houses and we need to understand and then work with them. I'm Komela Sutton and uh, I am doing the master class on Dushtana houses, 6th, 8th and 12th houses. Uh, do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. So Dushtana houses are uh, by nature the complicated houses. All of us have them so we have to learn to deal with it. Uh, 12th house uh, is uh, Dushtana. Uh, it is a Vyaya Bhava. Uh, Vyaya means a house of expenses. It can mean house of loss. Vyaya is not always about money. Uh, it can be about uh, making effort and not receiving rewards. Uh, it is also uh, talks about moksha, self-realization. It is a moksha bhava. So uh, moksha means self-realization, but uh, we are reborn because we didn't find moksha. So while the 12th house is a moksha bhava, it also talks about your attachments, what you cannot let go, uh, because uh, that is where uh, you have these attachments, so therefore you are reborn so that you can again try to let go of the attachments. So uh, the two significators for the 12th house, Saturn uh, and Ketu, Mm, uh, so uh, both these significators are important. If you have them strong, uh, then they will uh, bring that desire to pay back your debt, which is through Saturn, and then uh, giving up, you know, not bothering about wealth and giving up all attachments is through Ketu. That's very complex, you know. Uh, Ketu comes with a lot of past life baggage, and that past life baggage has to be reconciled, forgiven, let go, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, we are not holding on to our past lives, we are reconciling with them and the 12th house is representing that. Now, if the 12th house Lord is placed in the 12th house, then uh, that creates a Vimala Yoga. So these are part of the Viparita Raja Yoga. So you get success through adversity, through foreign lands. What I find a lot about uh, the twelfth house is that it is a, a lot of people who have a strong twelfth house tend to get success abroad, away from their home country. And what happens is that in the olden times, being away from your home country, away from your kith and kin was considered very negative. Uh, whereas nowadays, you know, traveling, being displaced, all those things are okay. We are quite used to that and we quite enjoy it. So uh, therefore, you see people who leave home, homeland, especially uh, 12th Lord is in the uh, first house or in the fourth house of home or fourth houses in the twelfth, you'll see this these aspects of people either traveling a lot, working um, away from home, earning international success. Some of the, the big stars whose success is international, you'll see they have quite a lot of twelfth house. So because twelfth house is house of expenses, one of the things we can think about the twelfth house is giving something voluntarily, uh, you know, donation, effort. Um, it is about purifying your 12th house, letting go of things slowly. Uh, so when you give, it has a pleasure, much more pleasure than receiving. You know, receive is more like you're getting it, you feel greedy or want that thing. But if you want to give, uh, there, I can tell you there's great pleasure in giving. And uh, if you have a lot of planets in the 12th house, sometimes uh, you have to watch your expenses because there can be a lot of expenses with planets in the 12th house. However, I've seen 
uh, people with uh, planets in the 12th house being very successful. Uh, it really depends on uh, what you are giving to because if you are giving to uh, all to something good then uh, something even better is going to come out of it. But if you are wasting your life and you get involved in the negative aspects of things then of course uh, that twelfth house will become a problem for you. So I think it's important to think about that you want to give and you want to give good. A lot of people are involved in charity, in uh, doing good for other people, in international work. Those things are uh, good uh, yoga, meditation, visiting ashrams. Uh, all that aspect is part of the purifying rituals you can do. Twelfth house is, uh, you know, isolation as well. So very often you see very successful people get very isolated. Uh, because if you have sun in the 12th house, you, you can be uh, king to everybody, but stuck maybe in the White House or in some, you know, fabulous mansion and not really connecting with other people. So it can be lonely. It is a loner position to have. But what, uh, you know, if you understand as usual, you know, I feel that all planets uh, suffer from being in the 12th house, although the 12th Lord is not regarded as negative where he is placed. But in my experience, 12th Lord also uh, displaces you. So it makes you move from one place to the other or traveling and things like that. So usually I'll always advise people if there any 12th house aspect that they should uh, do some travel, they should do something because it, it helps that because you are naturally uh, creating some movement for yourself. And of course, uh, planets in the 12th house, you must watch uh, for your expenses and especially uh, Rahu in the 12th house. Rahu loves uh, expenses and he can uh, make you overspend. So be very careful you don't get into debt. Uh, but other planets as well, Saturn can make you guilty about expenses, uh, sun spend like a king, a moon emotionally isolated, very shy if you have moon in the 12th house. So generally uh, any planet unless he's in full dignity they uh, will have some suffering in the 12th house. But uh, Venus is supposed to be very good in the 12th house. Why is that? Because Venus natural exaltation is in Pisces which is the 12th house. So I think that if you have uh, 12th house Dasha uh, or you are <clears throat> have number of planets in the 12th house it's good to be more spiritual uh, to be thinking about uh, the divine the higher energy not just thinking about material things and attachments and uh, learn to detach because the higher you go in your aspiration which is what as a moksha house you know um, it is it, uh, encouraging you to develop your higher self. So uh, uh, the three Dushtana houses, two of them are Moksha houses, 8th and 12th. So that means that if you can transform the, those energies, then uh, you are moving towards the path of self-realization. And <clears throat> transformation doesn't come in one day. You have to continue doing, you can make some mistakes, suddenly you have to face some difficulty, but then you are continue doing that, uh, um, you know, slow and steady, then over time you'll suddenly find that you are more detached, you are able to, uh, uh, you know, aspire for that higher energy. So especially 12th house is about detachment because that is what moksha is. 8th house is about transformation. 6th uh, house is about faith facing your obstacles, you know, the, the personal um, things that come, uh, that stop our growth. So um, it is important uh, to do the remedies and it's not necessary to do every remedy together, but to do remedies slowly but surely. Uh, transits to the 12th house, generally 12th from the moon, Saturn goes there, it's start of Sare Sati. And we start feeling restless and unsettled. Uh, so I would say Saturn going 12th from the moon is the big one. But Saturn 12th from your ascendant, uh, any planet going into the 12th house makes you think about uh, self-realization, moksha, 
expenses, you know, uh, wastefulness. So be careful if you have many planets transiting in the 12th house with wastefulness. And what I've noticed about the dasha of the 12th house is that people tend to give up their power, their authority. And <clears throat> be careful, you know, it's not necessary uh, that you have to give everything up because we are also living in a material world, so we have to connect with it. Uh, but the 12th house dasha will bring changes for you, will bring a more spiritual attitude to you, if that is your bent of mind. But uh, most important is to uh, try to not uh, spend your way out of it, as whether it's money or effort or wasteful things. So you try to focus on what you can do and how you can uh, develop that. Uh, and, uh, you know, plan any planet placed in the 12th house is uh, telling you that this is a, a, a complex energy. Then what I like to do is I look, try to see uh, uh, are there planets 12th from the moon, 12th from the sun. If all three have 12th house planets, that means then that is a major area that you have to develop. But if just from the lagna, but not from the moon, you can uh, easily deal with it and manage it. Uh, so thank you very much. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification.